What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Buffalo Sabres franchise mode. In the last one, we had a tough defeat to the New Jersey Devils, okay? Luckily, we did we were able to push them to 7 games. We did have a lead at one point, but unfortunately choked it away in game 6 and 7. We'll be building upon that though. We know our team is a playoff contending team. That is going to be the expectations for us next year as well. And we're going to be looking to build upon that. Who is our weakest point? Where can we improve? All right. And I think that's going to be, I, I, I think it's going to be a slightly difficult task just because of some of the moves I'm about to make. But uh, I, I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you guys. So right off the bat, I like to take a look at the, where is it? At the morale. I like to take a look at the morale. And the chemistry, because I like to decide who's my team captain going to be, who's the assistant captain's going to be, and this is how I kind of decide. So we got Mark Pissick, Jeff Skinner, Victor Olofsson, and Vinny Hinostroza. You know, three of them have just a presence. So I give those guys the A's and the leaders usually who I give the C to. So next season, I was looking to put Mark Pissick in the, in the captaincy. Um, then we're going to probably have Olofsson... And I want to say, I really want to give to Hinostroza, but I feel like Jeff Skinner is going to improve a little bit because of the season he had, so I might give it to him as well. Um, but you, you guys get the point. One of these guys is probably going to get the A, Mark Piss is going to get the C. So I was like, all right, do we even have them for next year? Because I know Victor, uh, Victor Olofsson's contract was coming up, and they all are having... Uh, except for Jeff Skinner, all of them are having their contracts having to be renewed. So I offer them contracts. All right, you guys are gonna see here in a second what they were. Um, I know Niederreiter, the only so I was not gonna re-sign Niederreiter. I think I talked to you guys about that, but I probably didn't. I was not gonna re-sign Niederreiter. He was literally just a rental. I was worth. I thought I was worth getting rid of him just because we only gave up like a third for him. Uh, but I started looking at what he did in the playoffs, 10 points in 12 games played. He was a plus three. You know, he was a good playoff performer for us, and I don't think we can drop somebody who's still performing well in the playoffs. And even when you go to his regular game stats, I'd like him to improve that plus minus, but 17 points in 22 games played, that's pretty good too. So I think Niederreiter could be a very solid player or addition to our team regardless of where we put him but he's not he doesn't really have a, a set role on our team right now uh Vinny Heaton Schroza I gave him a slight pay increase he was at I think around 2-2 two, two, um for a contract oh yeah Nita Ryder was at 4.25 that was another big factor he did good and he wanted a pay decrease so I really like that for for Nico Nita Ryder it makes it feel like he actually wants to be in Buffalo. Um, Hinnestroza, yep, 2 point, uh, it was like 2.2. Um, Mark Pissick got a slight pay increase, just a regular old like 1 million, I think maybe like 40 or something, but it, it was a real low million, uh, just 1 million dollar deal. I think kind of similar to what Hinnestroza has now. Uh, and then Victor Olofsson, you all saw when we went over to him, he was wanting 9 million dollars. I didn't want to do it. I really didn't want to do it, but then I started thinking, you know, Jeff Skinner had a good season. Maybe we maybe we trade him. So, and also we had a shit ton of salary cap available next year. Thirty-two million dollars in salary cap available. So I offered Ben Hinchros of the nine million dollars. So whether or not we get rid of Jeff Skinner or not, Olafson's going to be another nine million dollar player. Hopefully, you know he does live up to expectations. Right now, his expectation is a point per game which is exactly what he did. He's expected to be a goal scorer. He put up 30-plus goals postseason, eight points in 10 games played, plus two. Not really that big of a goal scorer, but still contributing somehow. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but we got to start seeing who's going to be the Stanley Cup champion. All right, so right now we got Nashville, Minnesota, New Jersey Devils versus Toronto. All right, so that is... So that, that's what the matchups are going to look like. So we'll just, you know what, we'll just advance day it because then we'll be able to see the scores down below. So Nashville goes up one nothing. New Jersey goes up one nothing. 
Mark Pissick accepts it. Olofsson accepts it. Vinny Hinoshroza accepts it. Nito Rina Ryder accepts it. And, uh, all right. So we advance it up again. Nashville up 2 nothing. New Jersey up 2 nothing. We could lose to the Stanley Cup champions. You know, that's not... It's not bad, you know, that's not awful to think about because then people are kind of like, oh, damn, they lost the champions. But um, one more thing about the contracts. I was going to offer Will Butcher an extension. I was going to do it, but he does not want an extension. Will Butcher does not want to be in Buffalo. So we are going to let him walk away and we're going to let him go and test free agency. Maybe we offer him a contract in free agency and he accepts. Who really knows? Uh, but let's let's keep going. All right. So Minnesota battling back 2-1. New Jersey's about to sweep Toronto. No way. Oh, Toronto won game number four. Nashville. Oh, they're in a very good predicament too. They're up 3-1. So we're getting into it. This is this is deciding games. This is deciding games. Advance it. And we got a Nashville Predators versus the New Jersey Devils. P.K. Subban going up against his former team of the Western Conference of the Nashville Predators. That is insane. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, edit lines. Yep, yep, yep. No, no, not edit lines. View lines, view lines, view lines. Let's take a look. I want to see what they're looking like. I want to see what they're looking like. All right. So, we already have seen the, uh, Mo nah, not the Montreal, the New Jersey Devils, because we lost them. Jack Hughes, Nico Heeshear, Thomas Tatar, Miles Wood, uh, Shere Govich, <laughs> Jesper Brett, Alexander Holtz, Pavel Zaka, Andreas Janssen, Jesper Botquist, Jan Kukinen, and Thomas Kunakel. Uh, it's a good team, and they're young, too. So, if they win this, if they win the Stanley Cup here, they could be one of the teams to beat for the foreseeable future because of how young their team is. Nico Heeshear, 23. Jack Hughes, 21. Miles Woods, 26. Shira Govich, 23. Jesper uh, Bratt, oh my God. Jesper Bratt, 23. Holtz is only 20. Zaka, 25. Like, they got a nice fucking young team here to build around. And they add some depth. Maybe they draft some key pieces too. Defensively, Ty Smith with Dougie Hamilton, Damon Severson with Ryan Graves, and then Sigenthaler with PK Subban. It's a solid decor. Subban, Severson, Dougie Hamilton, Ty Smith, Ryan Graves. It, it, it's good. It's a good decor. Goaltending, Mackenzie Black with 25 years of age. It says he might be a medium elite for us, but I mean, he's probably got like high starter if I had to guess, but. Miles, Miles Blackwood, good goaltender, great backup. Jonathan Bernier, scratches could use some health, but they got Jason Demers just riding the fucking bench. Like they're winning games, and they don't even have their best defenseman in the lineup. All right, they're going up against the New Jersey Devils. So let's take a look at here. Philip Forsberg, who appears to be hurt. All right, they got Michael ba uh, Granlin, Eli Tolavainen, uh, Rocco. Grimaldi, Matt Duchesne, Luke Coonan, Nick Cousins, Carl Soderberg, Colin Sissons, uh, Michael Grabner, Brian Boyle, and Cody Glass. Now, something I saw interesting is Scratch. They have Ryan Johansson scratched. They have him scratched, but he's probably playing every game. Like, there's no way that he's actually scratched. So... I think these lines are a little outdated, maybe. But Ryan Johansson, he was considered a scratch. And even Roman Yossi's here as well. So we got to remember Roman Yossi when we look at the defenseman. Matias Ekholm, Colton Paranko. We tried. Oh, I wanted this motherfucker so bad. I thought we were going to pick him up. I thought it would be amazing. Philip Myers, um, Mark Borowicki, David Ferentz, and Dante Fabrio. Goaltending, UC Soros, another nice young goaltender with a, a pretty decent backup in David Richet. All right, not bad. This is going to be a good matchup. I I would like New Jersey to win, just so I can say that we lost the Stanley Cup champions. I think that's better for us. So, uh, upcoming season ticket drive, we sold all right about seventy percent. 
All right, we about, we sold about 70% of our season tickets. Nashville going up 1-0 on the Devils. Devils tie it 1-1. One, one. Okay, all right. Devils take, go up 2-1. to one. All right, game number four. Tied 2-2. Two to two. Ooh, New Jersey back up. So New Jersey can end it here. Oh, they don't do it. Tied 3-3. Three, three. It's going to game number seven. Oh, I wish I could watch this game. Game number seven. New Jersey or the Nashville Predators? Who is it going to be? It's the New Jersey Devils. They did it in seven. I think they had three series, which went to game number seven. Let's take a look. All right, so... Yeah, they had three series that went to game seven. That's nuts. Every game for Nashville, or sorry, every series for Nashville only went to five. So this is the longest series they had to deal with, like their opponent. And the Devils have just been grinding it out every series except against the Maple Leafs. They won that in five. The Maple Leafs actually had a pretty easy road. Five games in round one, and then they swept the Bruins in round two. I bet you all those Maple Leafs fans thought they were going to win. Uh, nah, it doesn't happen, man. But fucking New Jersey, game, seven games against the Columbus Blue Jackets, seven games against Buffalo, five against Toronto, so I think that shows that they suck. Uh, and then seven games against the Nashville Predators. That is insane. Congratulations, on the, congratulations to the New Jersey Devils uh, for winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, President's Trophy went to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, Clarence has Campbell Bowl, Nashville, and then Prince of Wales, New Jersey. Individual awards. Art Ross goes to Brad Marchand. Hart Memorial, Brad Marchand. James Norris went to Aaron Ekblad. Lady Bing goes to Artemi Panarin. Calder Memorial goes to Trevor Zegris. Con Smythe, Mackenzie Blackwood. Vesna went to Philip Grubauer. Williams M. Jennings goes to Darcy Kumper. Bill Masterson, Nikita Zadorov, Jack Adams, boys. We got the Jack Adams Award. Let's go. That means we can't fire this motherfucker, though. So that that's kind of upsetting. But it's good. It's good. Frank J. Selke, Anze Kopitar, Ted Lindsay, Brad Marchand. And the Maurice Richard goes to Patrick Laine. Finally living up to that uh, goal-scoring potential I see. Looking in the AHL, this is what... Uh, these are the awards. Did we win any? No. Doesn't look like we did. Team awards. All right, we got the frame, uh, Frank S. Uh, Mathers Trophy. And the FG Teddy Oak. All right. So we did win two team awards. We just didn't win anything for individuals, which is fine. I'm fine with that. So let's uh let's get on up. Let's get to the draft. Actually, we're gonna have the the interviews and everything, and we also gotta have fucking the Powerball. So let, let's see, let's see. All right. So 15 Pittsburgh, 14 the Islanders via Chicago, Washington 13 at 13, 12 to 12 for Anaheim, 11 for 11 San Jose. 10 to 10 for Philadelphia. And, all right, we're staying at 9, all right? So we're staying at 9 via Carolina. St. Louis falls back 6 to 8. Oh, we just barely missed out. You fucking kidding me? 6 to 8, St. Louis falls back. Vancouver falls back. So 7 and 6 move up. That is going to be the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton fucking always be winning these goddamn lottery fucking selection shits. What the fuck? All right. So Vancouver five to seven. Ottawa goes from four to six. Detroit three to five. The New York Islanders go from two to four. And now we're in the top three. So right now we have Calgary, Edmonton, and Arizona. All right. Those are the three teams that we have. To see uh, who's going to win the number one overall selection. And with the number three overall pick, the Arizona Coyotes fall from one to three. Oh, that's got to suck for Arizona. And now, you know, we got Calgary and Edmonton. 
Both of them were the, they were at six and seven right before or well, right after us. God damn it, that could have been us. But with the number one selection, moving from the number seven overall pick, the Calgary Flames have won the NHL draft lottery. Edmonton has the second selection in this draft so we we're planning around number nine fuck i wish we could have gotten shane right we might be able to trade up maybe still no 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 other gems no franchise potential all right what are we looking at for my pins all right zach's i still i think i'm gonna draft this guy zach stinger I don't know. Something about, I like I like him. 53 points in 58 games played. He's supposed to be considered a grinder. He has no weaknesses. He's expected to be in the NHL in 3 years. It's going to be like 21 or 22. I think this is going he's going to be a good late like second third round pick, probably third rounder for us. I think that'll be good. Matthew Goucher could be a good grinder as well. No weaknesses, 1 year ETA. Uh, I think we can let go of you. I don't know, actually. Five years ETA. No weaknesses. 24 points. He's six foot seven, too. He could be, I don't know, but wasting a second round pick on him. I don't really like that. Bottom six grinder. Yeah. Yeah, let's go back to sorting by height. Alright, so what are we looking at here? What are we looking at? What are the big boys looking at? Possible enforcer. We got a couple more days. They're still being scouted. Goaltending. HL starter, possibly, for Campbell. No weaknesses. Supposed to be five years, though. I don't like that. Five years for you, too. Trying to get a fucking huge goaltender. I want a fucking Ben Bishop, motherfucker. Hoping that you can be that motherfucker. Bu pit. Could be. I mean, he could be like our seventh round selection. So what are we doing here? So uh, the retirement days. Who's retiring? Who is retiring from the NHL? Let's see. Ryan Kessler. Brett Seabrook. Uh, Brandon Dubinsky. Carl Sodenberg. Damn. Loses in the Stanley Cup Finals and then retires. Uh, Justin Abdelkader, Johnny Boychuk, all right, Nate Thomas, Cody McLeod, and then we'll just run it by, ah, our boy Lundquist, Joel Lundquist, he got paid $15 million and he's like, yo, peace, peace, motherfuckers, I don't need to work another day in my goddamn life. Goaltenders, just one, Poparelli, all right. Uh, coaching retirements. We got nothing. Oh, no. We got two for the AHL. All right. So two of our AHL coaches retired. Um, Brett Seabrook's looking to be a scout. Ooh. Okay. So let's get into these interviews. Let's get into the interviews. Uh, okay. We got the number nine pick. This is, these are the guys that are telling us to look at. One up, one down. So we got a right winger, a center, and a center. I like the right wing. He's a sniper, A+. Plus, three year ETA. Two year ETA for Connor Greeky. And then two year ETA for Danny, too. One year for Nathan Guthier. I like Nathan Guthier. I want to figure him out. It's not going to let me select him. That's kind of dumb. It didn't let me select anybody, so I didn't get to interview anybody. Um, but, okay, whatever. Whatever. We'll just move. Move right on along. All right. So... Let's get into this draft. Maybe we'll make a trade, too. Let's just see. What do we got on, like, the trading block right now? Um. Okay. 
Okay, Arizona. What do we got? I still like how Ryan Suzuki. I feel like Ryan Suzuki would be a good pickup, but he's 21, which is what I don't like. Tuka Rask could go for old Tuka, but we already got our goaltenders next year, so I'm not going to do that. Goaltenders, Sam Gagne. <laughs> Good defenseman. Third pairing for Uyghur. Joe Thornton still... Joe Thornton's third half. Old ass is still fucking playing. Defensive pairing three for Brandon Montour. Might not be bad there. Uh, Philip Deneau would work on our third line. I like him. I really like Philip Deneau. I follow. First line, no. Edler, all defensive pairings for Alexander Edler, but we would have to re-sign him. Victor Olofsson, this is the guy that we wanted originally for that first line. Spurgeon, supposed to work on our top four. Could do it, Alexander. Mm, da, 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 da. Is Sorokin? Wow, they're trading away Ilya Sorokin. That's they're they're looking for a big payoff on that one. T.S. Ekholm, defensive pairing three. Borowicki, but he's too low an overall for my liking. Could bring over Grimaldi, but he's a big minus player now. Nah, never mind. He's got Wedgwood. No. Eric Stahl, James Neal. Brett Burns. Doesn't, he was not supposed to work anywhere, though. Ooh, Tyler Myers. Top four pairing. I like that. Tyler Myers from Vancouver. So with the first pick, obviously the guy who was supposed to go, it's going to be Shane Wright. So Shane Wright goes with the number one overall pick. So it's actually, can we, oh my God. Can't make a pick. Draft board. No, view draft class, there it is. So. With that, we're now getting into it. So, Marcus Johansson, Brad Lambert is supposed to be the next one to go, but Marcus Johansson could go before him. They're, that's what the, our scouts are saying, is that they should be the reverse. Um, but I would like to make that trade with the Vancouver Canucks. So, let's actually take a look. You know, we, we should do our due diligence and take a look here. Um, nope. 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 So, Vancouver... Tyler Myers, I would like to pay, I would like him. Six million dollars. I'll ask them to take something back. Uh, we could get rid of Jeff Skinner in this deal. We could nine million dollars freed up. That would open a spot for Nita Ryder or somebody on that second line. Oh, do we do it? Do we get rid of Jeff Skinner? I think we do. I feel like that's the way to go. So Jeff Skinner for for Tyler Myers. We sell high on Jeff Skinner. That's a big contract we're about to get off. And we ask for like a second. It's a little it's in our favor. Second next year. So it's in our favor. So let's throw in like a fourth from that. So we'll move up a, from a fourth to a second with Jeff Skinner. Okay, we're overvaluing. We're overvaluing Jeff Skinner compared to what they think. So, how about a third? Nope. Still, are we still consider overvaluing? Let's go. Uh, no, it's that's supposed to be his trade value. I don't think Tyler Myers trade for Jeff Skinner. 
completely fair. Like, they are helping us get salary off our books. I feel like we can get something. Uh, Mackenzie Bowie. Tyler Poolman. Let's try with Poolman. Try with Poolman and... Maybe we go Josh Anderson. Like Josh Anderson and Jeff Skinner. For Poolman and Myers. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let's try to add just like a sixth in there as well. Too far off the table. So we're, we're pretty good. We're getting there. So Brad Lambert goes number two to the... Uh, to the Edmonton Oilers, they go after the center playmaker. So two center playmakers are off the board. Okay. Um, back to Vancouver. So we're gonna give up Josh Anderson and Jeff Skinner in this trade. So we're gonna get rid of two two pretty good pieces on our team for some defensemen. We want some defensive help. Just straight up. Uh, but the value you're setting is, so they, they think that we should be paying more. So I'm not, I'm not doing this trade then. We're fine without it. Um, any teams looking to trade away their pick? <sighs> they want to move up. So we got some. So where are our picks? So we got the 24 and 21st. 24 and 21st. He's supposed to go at 14, so Guthier I would like to pick up. And this is where pretty much all of our picks are supposed to be. Okay. So what are we looking up? Must bulk up. Alright, so three. So we're looking at some threes and some potential twos. So he has a two year ETA at the center. 61 points and 67 games played as an 18 year old in the WHL. And then we got Tony. No weaknesses. Two year shoot, pinch, shoot style. In the Swedish Hockey League. Plus four. Good. 10 points. I, th I like that. So maybe. Thing is, gonna. I think Guthier is our guy. I feel like Gu Nathan Guchier is our guy, which means with this pick, I shouldn't go after Conan Geeky or Danny. I should go after you, but even though they are probably going to be better. We have you perfectly, perfectly scouted with Welsh. He's, got a, he's going to be good in the locker room. He doesn't have a weakness. He's got an X factor for one tease. Fuck yeah. So we're going to go after Kemmel with our pick. We might... He might not fall to us. I'm really hoping Kemmel falls to us. Because if he doesn't, who's going to be our backup plan? Oh, I feel like he's going to go. I feel like Kemmel's going to go. We might need to move up one pick, but we definitely need to move up. In the draft. So number three, Johansson goes. No one wants to move, though. So we're probably going to have to make a trade with the Capitals or with the Ducks. Let's do, Let's do the Ducks. Let's try with the Ducks first. So skaters matching block. Jeff Skinner. Try Jeff Skinner. Okay. Might be a good time to get rid of Cousins because he doesn't fit anywhere. <sighs> Maybe we just do Dylan Cousins. Because he doesn't fit anywhere on our lines. And we're about to... But he could play right wing. <sighs> well, he's 
51 points. Like, he does great. It's just he doesn't give us that chemistry boost. You have to be a second line right winger. Uh, so Taj Thompson and Jeff Skinner. It would be over. And just give us... Weird, they're trying to get rid of Mason. Mm. It's another center though. Like we don't have a need for a center. Left wing. He didn't really play at all. We're gonna go after you. No, nope, you're not signed. Shit, so we'll go after you and you. Okay, and we'll go and give up a third. Did. All right, we're trying to move up in this draft. I keep forgetting that we're trying to move up. So we're moving up from the 24th pick up to there. Getting rid of Jeff Skinner's contract. Does suck we're kind of getting rid of Tage Thompson, but we might be able to find someone better equipped for that second line. Uh, we get a right wing center. All right, pick... Defense. Okay, so the first defenseman goes. Couturier, offensive defenseman, goes to the Islanders. Okay. Okay, 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 Thank you
Find a trade for this pick. Find trade. Brandon Montour, a third, and Navarra. So the Florida Panthers seem to be the only ones interested for this pick. So we would get defenseman Brandon Montour, 28 years old. He was a minus four, be on our third pairing. We get their third round pick next year. And then Nutavara, top four pairing, 78 overall potential. 16, he was a minus one. What else do you guys have? Uyghur. Hordquist. Nikita Sid... Oh, that's Saitsev. That's not Sidorov. My bad. That's Saitsev. Patrick Hordquist. This works on the PK. Frank. Bataro. Betrano. My bad. Joe Thornton. Gudis would just be a depth pick. I'd rather get Gudis like that and then get like a higher pick in exchange. Um, But I want Mackenzie Weger. Oh, he only works on our third pairing. What else you guys got? You're willing to give up the third. How about your first next year? No, that's too much. Let's do... Your second. Your second for Navara and Gudis next year. I feel like we're that's not that's not a good trade. That's not a good trade. Be so much more beneficial for us just to take a pick. Fucking points as a 70 year 17 year old. 50 fucking points as a 17 year old. Holy shit. Offensive defenseman, Dayton Matichuk. Yep, we're taking you. We're taking you. Holy shit. Offensive defenseman, 50 points in 69 games played. It wasn't a WHL, but plus 16. He's still a plus player. This guy is Andy 17. I think this guy's gonna be amazing. I think we just got three like future faces of our franchise. Kemmel, Gucher, and Matichuk. I think we just hit on all three of those picks. I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope we did anyways. So sim to pick number 53. Second round pick number 21. Um, and let's take a look at the draft activity. Any other trades? So there are a few trades that happen. So we made our two trades. Arizona traded their second and uh, 2023, uh, 2023 fifth round pick from, oh, they acquired that from Calgary. So they gave up their second for a second and a fifth. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So second round, what are we looking at? What are my pinned players looking at? All right, so we got Park. This is the 53rd. Good. I don't have a third. I like him. I like him. I really do. I think we should trade this pick back. I think trading this pick back for like a third would be the most beneficial. We want a 2022 
third. None of these guys are willing to give it. I'm not going to give it to Nashville, Minnesota, no. Could go with the Panthers. Yeah. We're just going to edit this. Instead of next year's third, I want this year's third. I want this year's third. Your next year's fourth. What are we looking like? I need a fourth rounder this year, too. Sixth round pick the next year. So let's do a fourth. We're going to do a third, a fourth, a sixth, and then get rid of that one. There we go. So we got a third, a fourth, and a sixth. Perfect. So we got our, we got every pick for a round, except for this round. We trade back. What are they going to wind up taking with this pick? Zaitsev. Zaitsev. So I'm about to pick number 88. Hopefully our guy is here. Yes, he is. Zach Stinger. Welcome to the team. WHL again. Left winger. I think he's going to be a good grinder for our team. 53 points in 58 games played. I think he's going to be good. I think he's going to be good. Uh, Sim up to pick 120. And I think we're going to be done with this. Nope, we're not. We still got Parker, but I think I can wait. I can definitely wait on him. Uh, so now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Let's see. Low top nine sniper right wing. Lack size in his reach. His offensive instincts is good, though. Three years for Yuri Kadobin. Left defenseman. Let's do it. Let's get to Kadobin. Go with a potential elite offensive defenseman in our scouting eyes anyways. Uh, pick 160. Yeah, we're going to take him. Jesse Parker. So, you got any abilities, Parker? No, but you're still you're still good. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, send to our next pick. Sixth round. Left winger, left winger, 17 years of age. I think we're going to take the left winger. Seventeen-year-old goaltender too could draft a goaltender. No weaknesses. This guy just lacks size. Five eleven. Wow. We're gonna take the goaltender. I think. Okay, we'll take the goaltender. 5'11". 5'11", Rodgers. Sure. Send him to pick 213. Uh, potential sniper elite. Team utilization. Uh, shot utilization. Shoot pinch. Right defenseman. We'll take you. Bemstrom, and that's it for the draft. That uh, is it for the draft. All right, perfect. So I, I think we hit on a lot of those picks, personally. Uh, the following coaches, NHL head coach, associate, yeah, fuck. We got a lot of people we got to resign. So Herma, you just won uh, coach of the year, so we're going to offer you exactly what you want. There you go. Um... He doesn't like burn. Oh, no. That's his best. So we're going to fire Withers. Yeah. So Withers is going to go. 
Burns has the best chemistry with our head coach. So we're going to do that. And our goaltender coach don't care. Okay. And then scouts, I'm guessing. Probably going to have to resign everybody too. Just two. Fire you. Just you left. Yep. And we'll sign you. Perfect. There we go. All right. And now we're getting to the resign phase. What are we looking at here? So, Will Butcher still doesn't want to sign with us. Fine. Uh, Hag. Nope. He doesn't want to resign. Davidson does, but I don't want to resign him. Mike Ranky. Well, Mitch Ranky. I think he did a good job on our team. I think he could be a good AHL defenseman for us. So we'll offer him. Uh, well, I only got three spots left. Maybe not. All right, and then we get these guys who are just complete mysteries to us. So we're going to let them play one year, all of them. All of them I'm going to let play one year because none of them were NHL ready according to their to their thing. So we're going to let all of our rookies play. I don't think I'm going to re-sign anybody. Yeah, I think I'm completely fine not signing anybody. So let's advance through the re-sign phase. We really started off on the right foot. Uh, by you offering my role so ideally suited to my skill, so I'm gladly accepted. Awesome. So we got our head coach back. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely thrilled with the role you offered, but I'm mulling it over. I accept. All right, we get his best coach chemistry as well. And we get our scout to sign with us as well. Cool, cool, cool. Get to free agency. All right, so we are in free agency officially. How many contracts do we got? Oh, wow, contracts really fell. Okay, so they were counting the ones from that. So let's see. So I'm going to go through real quick. So it's going to be a cut. Uh, I'm going to go through, take a look at our team and free agents, and I'll come back with the people that we're offering contracts for. So I'll see you guys in just a second. <laughs>
right, guys. So I went through and I offered some contracts to some NHL players. Um, I pretty much I've offered contracts to our AHL goaltenders that I would like, um, NHL defensemen and AHL defensemen, and then just NHL forwards. I haven't offered anything for our AHL forwards yet. I'm going to wait a little bit um, just to see what we can do or just because I, I want to know what our NHL roster is going to look like really before I figure out our AHL. So looking at the free agents, I'm going to show you guys what we were going after. So these are the players that we have approached. We are going after Johnny Hockey. All right, he up the best left winger available. The guy wants to be a second line left winger for us. That's a perfect spot for him. We'll put him on the left side with Cousins and Niederreiter. I think that would work out tremendously for us. We're also going after John Klingberg, a right defenseman. He's going to be going on our second pairing. He can also pay, possibly play the power play and penalty kill. Um, it was a minus seven, but I think once he gets on this team, he's going to be doing a little bit better as long as he keeps putting up points. Hopefully he can get back to the way to his former self, you know, when he was a little bit younger, put up more like 40 points for us. But having an offensive defenseman, he's our only offensive defenseman, it is really going to boost um, us for sure. We're also going after Hampus Lindholm. Now, I do have a backup plan if Hampus Lindholm does not work. All right. I do not care if we actually get him. There was also Ryan Murphy available. Um, that would be our backup plan if we do not get Hampus Lindholm. Um for defensive pairing number three, um, we're offering him five five um, because you know there is another team interested. So he's going to have to make a decision: does he want more money to come play for us, or would he prefer to play for that other team? Um, but if we don't get him, it's not the biggest thing. The only reason I preferred Hampus Lindholm over Ryan Murphy is because Ryan Murphy has grade. Um, he has three bar grade for defensive pairing number three. Um, and he also does have superstar ability. He's supposed to have two, possibly, Ryan Murphy. But, again, they're great, so they're not guaranteed. We're also going after a fourth-line center um, in Nick Cousins. This man is going to be a fourth-line, uh, uh, an absolutely amazing guy on the fourth line. He's going to put up points. He's still going to be a plus player. He works on our PK as well, potentially. So I think Nick Cousins is going to be a good uh, acquisition for us. Uh, and then these are some minor league moves right there. And then I'll show you guys the goaltenders going after Jeff Glass uh, and then Dylan Wells over there. So that is what we're hoping to acquire right now. So let's advance it just a couple days. Uh, Gergensen for a fourth. You know what? I'm not actually going to be using. I don't have plans for Zembis Gergensen on this team. So I'm going to accept that. We're going to send Gergensen over to Vegas for a fourth round pick. I'm sorry, Gergensen. I know you've been a long time Buffalo Sabre, but you just don't have a role on this team anymore, buddy. I'm so I'm very, very sorry. Um, let's see. What did I want? Oh, coaching staff. We got to get the coaching staff and the scouting staff. Fuck. Um, right. So we'll, we need an NHL assistant coach. So we'll start there. So NHL assistant coach. Let's see. What do we want to do? Um, we want a good teacher. That's for sure. Right here, generalist. Lauren Gar uh, Garvin. I think you that would be the best. Lauren Garvin. Yep, we're going to offer you uh, three years for the assistant coach. Now for the AHL associate coach. Um, again, I would rather go... Sort by overall and see if we can find like some good teaching. B minus teaching for C minus. Oh, he's supposed to be a goalie coach though. Okay. Okay, so we don't want you, but a C still might be good enough. 
So C and C. 42, 39, 55, right there. And then I probably should have looked at hers as well. 53%, I'll take it. 53%, I'll take it. Uh, and then we need an AHL goalie coach. Awesome. So we actually can offer that guy the job. But I'd rather have better teaching as goalie coaches. Uh, so we'll do probably you. Yeah. AHL goalie coach. And then we'll just offer you like 3-5. Some extra money. So there we go. We got our coaches. We got our, our, our players. Let's see how this all plays out. Jeff Glass accepts with us. So we get a our first signing in the offseason. Uh, Lauren Garvel, our, sorry, Lauren Garvin, our NHL assistant coach, welcome. Uh, sources tell me staff chemistry is excellent. So we get our AHL goalie coach. Uh, Nick Cousins signs with us. Awesome. Dylan Wells, the goaltender, signs with us. Uh, the left defenseman for the AHL, Sean Dersey. Yep, so we're getting all those AHLs. <coughs> no, not going to do that. But we're getting a lot of AHL pe uh, people. We're still waiting for the NHL. Sources, okay. Hampus Lindholm. So we get that. So we get him down for our top three. Johnny Goudreau fucking went with the Tampa Bay Lightning. John Klingberg went with the Islanders. Oh, my God. So the one guy that I was like, yeah, I, I don't care if we get him. They're like, all right, that's going to be the one guy you get. God damn it. All right. We got to we gotta work through it, boys. We got to work through it. That's fine. So we need another uh, defensive pairing. Um, a lot of the good defensemen, I think, are gone. Yeah, we're kind of working with, with scraps now. Shit. Um, what do we want to do? Right defenseman, we got PK, Jason Demers, Justin Schultz. Here we go with Justin Schultz, old man Schultz. Troy Stetcher. Hmm. Could go after Ryan Murphy and hope that that one of them can play like the top. Going to go after Ryan Murphy. There's one other team interested. Four nine. Three years. Four, nine, three years, and then we'll still offer Justin Schultz just what two year contract for what he's asking for. Okay, and then we need a winger. Second line winger. Uh, let's see, it's unrestricted free agents. Oh, none of them are working. Fuck. None of them are going to work for our second line. Oh, Nikita Gusev. Ah, uh, you He's not that great defensively, though. But we do got one, at least. Nikita Gusev. 
Pat Maroon. Patrick Maroon. Yeah, we're going to go Patty Maroon. One-year contract. You know what? We'll offer you just a one-year contract as well, so you'll get to decide who you want to sign with. Uh, Jimmy VC. No. Uh, Vladimir Nemestikov. Oh, Nemestikov. Yes, 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 yes. Two-year contract for Nemestikov. Perfect. I think that'll do it. Advance a couple more days. Ryan Murphy accepts. So we get Ryan Murphy. We get Nikita Gusev. Okay. Vladimir Nemestikov and Pat Maroon sign. Justin Schultz also signs. All right. So everybody that we offered signed with Buffalo. Third and a fourth for Brian McNabb. We have so many defensemen now. We don't need it. So now that that's pretty much it. So we've already established our NHL squad. So I'm going to go... Basically, just go through now and uh, sign some AHL players. You guys will see it in the next episode, but I'm just going to go through the free agency, sign some AHL players, get that depth that we needed, and then we'll come back uh, at the beginning of the preseason or maybe the end of the preseason, depending on how I'm feeling, um, to, really under to really look over the team again and then start up year number two with our Buffalo Sabres. So uh, until then, guys, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>